Planning permit is not responsible for building collapse, and there is no correlation between planning permit and building collapse. But we have modeled it up. You see, and we are a victim of our non-specialization, like I said earlier. We want to be a specialist. We want to know, we want to be a generalist. We want to know it all. So that planning has taken everything up. And I know it took the architect some, some struggles for, to allow them to be doing the screening of this. Although they were all, 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 always in the planning office there. You have, every planning office has an architect and engineer. But no, do they even have architects there? It's only engineers they have, most times. It's only engineers they have. And it's the town planner that screens what comes in. The architectural drawing that time goes to site, write the report and everything. Even the architectural report writes, hey, this is a ventilation, blah, 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 blah. But they took it that you cannot be doing our job for us. And um, architects were brought in to do the screening. Engineers took over the, uh, the screen of structures, although they were there as in as structures and other um, technical drawings. Those are separation of functions, which is supposed to enhance activities. And government in its initiative also separated planning permits and building control. Planning permit is on paper. Mm. I grant you permit to do X, Y, Z. Do X, Y, Z. And that same government is saying the building control must make sure that the planning permit granted by LASPA must be done as X, Y, Z. Any deviation, you, 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 you take it up. So, if I grant you planning permits on paper and the planning permit is not responsible for the materials you use on site, okay. the professionals you use on site, the supervising engineers, supervising the architects on site, the planning permit is not responsible. Yes. What the planning permit aims to achieve was to guide development in a proper and orderly manner that you conform to what I have given you. So if there is a deviation from what that man has done, building control takes charge. Because building control oversees development of that structure from the day planning permit has been granted, you apply to building control for authorization to commence. And don't forget, during the process of granting that planning permit, Building control has said, this architectural drawing is in order. Go. This structural drawings, the technical drawings are in order. Mechanical and all others are in order. Go ahead. So that's when planning permit says, I grant you permit. And the law also empowers that building control to make sure that those details, the structural details and those mechanical and electrical um, functions that has been passed as okay for planning permit are done properly on site. So why should planning permit be held responsible? So plan, that planners has no reason to be held responsible for building collapse. But like I said, we are a victim of our generalist practice because every, everything is about the Ministry of Fiscal Planning and Urban Development and its agencies. But let's uphold that separation of powers and old responsible whoever has not done his job in that process. Don't forget, building control starts from that authorization. They, give, they have the power to tell you, go to site. They have the power to make sure they monitor every stage of your development in line with planning permit and their own technical drawing approvers. After that, they also have the powers to grant you certificate to inhabit that property. So if that building goes down, 
where is the duty of where is the fault of planning permit there? 